In this episode of the Business Growth Accelerator, Steve Brosman and I are going to explore the five E's for better and more successful digital engagement and selling, energy, empathy, engagement, excitement, and enroll. I don't have sales conversations with, with people that are not excited to talk to me. And that's not because okay. yeah, I'm a one hit wonder and everybody in the world wants to talk to me. It's because that I do have a framework and I do have a sequence to take people through to do what I call increase the buying energy before the call. It's the old Jerry Maguire. You had me at hello. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that's what you've got to have. If we take a couple of minutes to go through this bit. The, the actual sales journey at, from the minute that they see or meet or hear from you, I talk about the buying energy. What is the buying energy? Now, if somebody has received something from you or they just see you out on social media and you, you're seen as a brown box, that means you may be a coach, a consultant, a trainer, a, a, a something, and you're titled by the same as everything and everybody else in your category. You're a brown box. Now, the buying energy to talk to another physiotherapist or another financial advisor, mortgage broker, the, the, the buying energy is low because there's another 10 that I can talk to today. Yeah. However, if you elevate your leadership position and create that unique authority, and there's lots of easy ways to do that, that's not fake it, but that's fine what it is that you do different. So if you're spent the time to wrap the box, to put under the Christmas tree, and it's not brown paper wrapping, it's nicely pretty colored, then you're gonna get unwrapped and valued. So a lot of my posts, my information that's going out there, apart from some personal things so that they get to know me, is all around about the art and science of virtual selling, all the little bits and pieces of nuggets. So if somebody comments or, or requests information, they'll always be directed to that. And it covers a wide range, but it all comes down to if you're a professional wanting to sell better, want to engage better via Zoom videos or whatever, this little ecosystem that I have is a range of information all directed towards that. That's the main thing that I'm helping people with, but then it does branch out. So that information is specific in there, but the videos that I do are not boring, scripted. They give a bit of your personality. They make a decision whether, can I handle more time with this guy? Or, you know what, I really enjoy it. And that's the thing that people don't think about it's the addictive personality factor. It, it's how do I stimulate those happy hormones, the oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, endorphins, their chemical reactions, and some of them are happening right now. They're really enjoying, they keep coming back to your podcast. Why? They just love your hairdo, I'm sure. They just <laughs> love coming back because you've got a great relaxed personality. They love being around. It triggers something in their body as well as they know they're gonna get some great information from your guests and that triggers some things as well. You can be the most confident, you can have the best in the world, but if you're stumbling and bumbling and not really doing a, sure. a good job about doing this, and I've really got some great stuff you should buy, then it, I, I don't wanna work with you because you're not that confident person. So you can be the most confident, you can have the best in the world, but if you're stumbling and bumbling and not really doing a, sure. a good job about doing this, and I've really got some great stuff you should buy, then it, I, I don't wanna work with you because you're not that confident person. But if you can look down the lens, know how to manipulate, not manipulate, but structure your work. I've got screens here. I could have you over there on that screen there and look and talk to you over here, but I've strategically moved your picture right next to the lens. But if I was talking to you as in the screen, I'd actually be talking to you like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people do, Yeah. but I got to come back to talk to that little black hole. <laughs> and there are all of these subtle things on how to go through the lens, which is a little bit of cadence that I just swapped to be able to emphasize that point. 
and to be able to work within a little square box. I'm in my Zoom box. Yeah, yeah. And I have to know where my hands go. I was like, hey, <laughs> it doesn't work. So that's that's another part of the art and science of being able to connect with people. So if to answer Alan English question, he asked about what is a good step of the process to use videos, a top of funnel cultivation, bottom of the funnel. I think your answer is all of the above, right? Absolutely. And again, a and, and great question, but also is, it's what you're comfortable with without forcing yourself too much. Uh, Forrester Research says that one minute of video is equivalent to 1.8 million words. It's not just the spoken word, it's the atmosphere, it's the engagement, it's all of the things that you can put into a one minute video. I'm not saying you do one minute videos, but that's the equivalent of writing. The other thing with that, and a lot of people are saying, oh, I wanna be an authentic salesperson, et cetera, et cetera. The thing with videos, we can tell whether you're faking it or not. Correct. And if you're there and you're talking to me and you know how to connect eyeball to eyeball, and here's a tip for your people. And I do this and I do video mastery training as part of our sales process, how to really connect through the lens is treat the lens as a telescope into the life of the person that you're talking to. I can tell if somebody's scared and looking at the camera and think, oh, damn, that camera's looking at me. <laughs> you're probably thinking, yes, it is, but no. If you look through the lens, to that one person, you might want the video to go to millions of people. If you're talking to that one person, then it will go to millions because you're only talking to one person in one place in one computer and you look through to that person and that will make a, a massive difference to your communication and connection. I'm not putting these out to drive thousands of people, a good handful of good quality people that really understand and work with me. That's the engagement pieces that I put out there. All of my written pieces, there'll be some links in there and there'll be some videos in there, but yeah, thought provoking content. If you do something that is similar to other people, just communicate it differently. Let's go through the five E's that we're talking about today in order. The first Perfect. E is what we're talking about right now is engage. What do you do to engage people? And generally I'll put videos out as much as I can because that gives them a taste of me and that really starts them on the cultivation process, self-qualification to, to go through. And the thing is that, you know, I'm not putting these out to drive thousands of people a good handful of good quality people that really understand and work with me. That's the engagement pieces that I put out there. All of my written pieces, there'll be some links in there and there'll be some videos in there, but yeah, thought provoking content. If you do something that is similar to other people, just communicate it differently. You don't have to have spots to look different in a herd of zebras. Yes. You just have to be different in some shape or form. But most importantly, communicate it. Cre create your own isms. And a lot of the different little sayings and quirky things that I've got, I own. And people think, oh, yeah, I, I've heard that. that. That's something that Steve says. So yeah. when you can do that, communicate it differently and you will engage people a lot more.